guys we're up two hundred dollars now in unrealized profits and we're up 228 in realized profits that's over four hundred dollars today on this trade what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another bitcoin daily video today we are doing some more live trading for you guys uh, you know, we're trying to keep it up. So we're going to update you on what's gone, what's happened with this current account. Um, and you know, trades that we have taken and, um, and trades that we're currently taking right now, as we continue to try to grow this account, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that like and drop a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know what you guys want to hear from us and want us to do more of. Um, so let's jump into this trade right now. Let me fill you in on what happened on yesterday's trade. I, I didn't get to make a update video on it. Um, so yesterday's trade, we entered at 16,527, right? Um, then we took profits, our first profits at five at 16,593. And then uh, we ended up Selling out with our rest of our position at 16,680. So we ended up making around $75 uh, profit probably. Um, now today we entered a new trade, right? So one of our new trades triggered and we actually mentioned uh, this trade in yesterday's video. So hopefully you guys uh, caught this trade. Um, so we actually mentioned the 16,500 trade in the video. And then we mentioned the 17,000 breakout trade in the video. So that's currently what we're in here. Um, the breakout was 17,000. Uh, so our entry was, was we got filled at 17,012 and a half um, for 10,000 contracts. Um, so now you can see here, we're currently up about $100. Plus we, we had the $75 yesterday. So in total, we're, we're up about 175. In less than 24 hours give or take so we're getting a push back here so we're what we're gonna do here we wanted to set the stop loss live because um, I know a lot of people have troubles uh, setting up stops so this is how we set up stops people pay attention <laughs> 17100 so I just I always set it somewhere random as long as it's under the price and then I move it up so I'm gonna just set it at the first uh, take profit uh, for our full amount of contracts we're gonna move up our stop right under this right here. We wanna move it up more, um, but because it's already dropped some, we, we're just gonna chill here and see what happens. We wanna remember when, when we're looking for stops, when we're being aggressive with the stops, then we're in the five minute charts um, and we're looking for kind of a range. You know, we wanna be under the range low within that this, you know this time so currently this is this candle right here after the big uh move up this is the range low so we're staying under the range low for now so we're currently up about a hundred we're up about 11 percent and we're just going to continue to trail it drink some coffee cheers so you know that we had to get our out our btc is king shirt for this we're almost back to 1-1. One, one. Remember we hit 1-1 one, one, and then we kind of went backwards for a bit towards the end of last week when all that consolidation, we stopped out on a few trades, which kind of, you know, gave us little small losses, but it's not a big deal. Uh, so we're riding our way back up and we're just going to continue build, trying to build up this account. Nobody said it. This is easy. You know what I mean? All right. So it looks like we're getting a pullback right now. Uh, that that candle we we're looking at did end up green, but it was kind of indecisive here kind of a indecisive uh, candle um, And then now the next one has been red so far So we've stayed we kept our stop under this low We didn't want to put it here. We would have had it here under the new higher low. We would have got stopped out um, So this is still a higher low uh, so we just got a, we're hoping for a bounce back up 17,000 was the, it's, it's been the major resistance that we've had. There's no real other major resistance until 20,000, right? 
so I want to try to play the long game here so I'm going to trail it where if it does come back down I'm taking profits but I want to give it enough room so if it just kind of bounces like this I don't get stopped out right so uh, that's kind of where I'm at but if it does end up coming down I'm all right with taking profits like you know it's it's likely to happen as you guys can see it just keeps going lower and lower um, so we might see a retest of that 17,000 um, or at least 17,100 but I don't want to put my stop under 17,100 then I'm, I'm just giving up too many profits at that point uh, if I stop out I'll stop out still make about 60 50 to 60 dollars profit so it would put me over a hundred dollars profit in these last two trades so I'm fine with it I'm gonna just uh, chill right now and continue to watch this trade so new update so now we see this bounce that just happened um, and we're back over that 17200 level um, so you see it's still it was still a new high but it came down lower that's why we, we stayed below the previous uh, higher low um, so then this higher low um, you know if we would have been right under this candle or this candle we would have been stopped out and missed this jump so that's why when we're trading like this we have to give it enough room to operate at this point we could probably uh move move it up possibly under that 150 range that's what we're gonna do right now and if we continue up here i would like to see a break of that 17 250 and then i'm gonna move my stop up to right under 200 but we gotta see it push for that uh for that 300 17,300 range all right so what we're gonna what we're gonna do here we're going to go ahead and take some profit here 17,200 we're gonna take 25 percent profits here because as you can as you guys can see there's a lot of consolidation here so we want to go ahead and secure secure some profits here at this uh at this point all right so it pushed a little bit higher but it's it's coming back down uh right now so we're gonna try to grab some profits here let's see if we can uh get a limit order to hit here at uh 17,225. so we're taking 25 percent profit here and we're just kind of waiting to see there it is boom your entire order has been filled so we didn't have to pay any type of of uh of fees for that that's the the main time that we do use limit orders um, when we want to take profits so um, other than that we're using conditional market orders the majority of the time um, just because we want to make sure that uh, we don't get any slippage any slippage and that we do in fact we either get our orders closed or that our orders are hit and triggered um, every time that it you know either if we have a stop entry or a stop loss that's the time that we use stops in the conditional order if we're just taking profits then we're using limit orders all right so um right now we're gonna go ahead and move up our trail stops um now so we're, we're trying to figure out do we want to play this 200 range or do we want to you know give it more room i think we're going to give it more room for now again if we wanted to be very aggressive then we'd be right up under this 200 range but we want to try to stay in for as long as possible if it does continue up so because of that we're going to go ahead and uh and it's not a big difference but we're gonna we're playing this low right here also we're gonna set up a new entry right so um the new entry that we want to that we want to have if it hits the number is 17,500. so we're gonna go ahead and hit conditional isolated 10x market and then we're gonna set up this five usually i give it like a ten dollar buffer so now we have that that set up in case we trail out or in case we you know we take profits whatever the case may be i already have my next order set up when it does decide to take off there we're up about 125 right now Alrighty guys, so we're at our third take profit target, TP3. Uh, we're up about, let's see, we're up 16%, one up about 150. So the next move is to get right under this 200. And if we break over 300, then we're gonna start moving up that way. 
So right now we're gonna move the stop up right under 200. Boom. We might plan for uh, to grab some profits here, another limit order. So we have that set up and then we have our trail stop set up. All right, guys, so we did hit our uh, take profit. We were able to hit it. It got sold, so we're currently holding, we're down to half of our contracts, right? Remember above 500, we have new orders set up. So we're just trying to ride this as long as possible. Now, since we're above that 300 range, we're gonna move up our uh, trail stops. Remember, we're right under 200 before. Um, we're gonna move it probably, I'm gonna come right here to uh, 17 to 40. You see right now we're up about 19%, $100 plus 67 here. So we're up over about 170 at this point. All right, guys, so we got a new update. As you guys can see, we just hit uh, 17,400 with this big pump. You see what happened here? We had uh, some consolidation after the big move. Basically a mini little uh, bull flag here on the five minute. Here we see the mini uh, bull flag and then boom. So we're up above 400 and then uh, the next level is where we have our new setups. So what we're gonna do now, we're moving our stops up right under the low, this low right here. Now we're gonna move them up higher since we're ready. So we're gonna move them right under 300. Um, that's where we're putting our trail stops. Um, and then once once we're up and over 400, then we're gonna, you know, continue moving it up. Probably move it like around uh, closer under that 400 range. So again, we just wanna give it enough range like we did on this one so that we don't get stopped out during this. This is gonna happen. This is uh, normal, this is part of the market. Um, it's gonna happen. So during this consolidation period like this, we wanna be uh, clear of it so that we wanna give it enough room so that we can be in, on the next jump like this. We're up right now uh, about 124 and 60, so about uh, 190 right now. Uh, looking to hit that $200 mark. So we will keep you guys updated. Alrighty guys, so a new update here. We just uh, entered a position in Ethereum um, at 480. Well, we ended up entering at 481. Um, it is a big resistance, so we have to make sure to watch it carefully here. We're gonna set our stops at 475 for our complete position here. So we're gonna we're gonna start off at 475 and uh, see what happens here, and we will move with it. Um, but let's just give it a bit here to decide. You know, see what that range is gonna be. Um, in BTC, you see we've almost hit our second entry, um, but you see this huge breakout here. We're right under that resistance now. Uh, we're up about 26% from our entry. So we have basically, we've done, we have 67 that we've already taken in profit, and then we have another basically 140. So we have over $200 profit. Okay guys, so we finally got that breakout that we were waiting for. Um, above 500 so we're moving our so as you can see right now we have 15,000 contracts opened at the moment uh, we're moving this the 5,000 from the original contract up right under that 500 range so we're, we're fine with that stopping out and then we're setting up new uh, orders for the uh, the new contracts that we have we're gonna have these below 400. Let's just put 450 for now. I mean, below 500, I'm sorry. Um, for our 10,000. So let's go ahead and hit close on trigger. Uh, make sure we have conditional, isolated, market, close on trigger, sell. All right, so our second contract is on sell. We're gonna put it just right below this uh, that low right there that we have on that one. We're gonna set up there for now. As you guys can see, currently we're at about, uh, what? 
$190 profit plus the $60. So that's about $250 profit right now, more or less. Um, we also have this Ethereum contract open where we currently are up about $28 um, on this position. Plus we have nine, about $10 realized here. So that's about, puts us at about 37. So we're almost at $300 in profit in the last, in, on these, you know, few trades, we've taken three trades total. So in these, on this, in these three trades, we're about $300 profit. You can see here, we're showing you how we're setting up the stop losses for two different entries at the same time. So we're going to be way more aggressive with the, with these 5,000 contracts and then with these 10,000, which is the new entries that we just got in. Um, either way, both of them are above our averaged out entry. So, um, so we're in profit regardless what happens. Uh, so we're trying to basically take the majority of profits before getting to 18 K. So then uh, above 18,000, what we're going to do is set up a new entry. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Now let's see what's going on with Ethereum. Move this out the way. So in the Ethereum, we're up to one and a half percent, $20 up. So not too much going on right now with Ethereum. Um, we're probably going to move our stops to break even right now at this point so if we if we get out of this trade if we get stopped out we'll stop out at break even it's not a big deal oh here we go here's the break nice very very nice all right so we got the break above 600 let's see if we can uh hold that we're moving our stops for this one right under 450 we're moving our trail stops for our new position right under 500 don't try to get cute as you guys can see we're up 300 plus a 60 so that's uh almost 400 dollars up right now on this trade plus we have the ethereum trade where we're up about 20 dollars plus uh another 10 so we're we're almost there guys we're almost at that 400 mark all right guys so we're up and above 17700 which was our first target and we're just going to be um Trailing this with the 5,000, we're gonna try to get a little bit tighter here. So we move up right under 600, and then this one, we're gonna move up to right under 550. So we're gonna continue trailing this in two different uh, spots. So we're just gonna keep our trails where they're at. Uh, we're up a lot today, so we're fine with trailing out and we have a new, either way, we have a new entry level, breakout entry above that 18K range. So we're just gonna chill for now. All right, guys, so we have destroyed that target and we're on to the next, right? So next target is 17.8. We're gonna go ahead and move up our stops. Uh, we're gonna move it right under this current candle. Boom. And let's keep pushing, man. Let's see, we have our next order set up. We're up 160, plus we have the um, the 227 already in profit, guys. And if you look up here, our equity is now at 1.12. So we're up over $2,200 in equity, guys. This is insane. And boom, we just hit our second target, guys. We just hit our second target um have we hit the 400 let me see two three guys we're just about at that 400 dollar mark let's go baby 172 in profit 230 uh, already realized 170 and unrealized all right guys so we're moving up our stop losses uh we're gonna move right under 700 um and we might even get a little bit closer we're gonna move it up under 750 we're fine with trailing out here uh we moved it to 17 739 and a half and because we have uh new entries above 18k we just want to kind of be aggressive here with our trail stops and if we stop out that's fine alrighty guys so we did end up trailing out and i promise you this ends this video 
Um, so you can see here we re-entered at 17,510 17, and we ended up uh, trailing out at $17,753 guys. So we did over $400 in profits today. All right, so question of the day is, are you guys following me and subscribed to the channel? Did you guys like this video? And uh, just tell me a little bit about how you guys got into crypto. That's it. That's the question of the day. Pretty simple. It don't gotta be nothing crazy, nothing long. Just nice and simple. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We hit the 2,000 mark, guys. We finally hit it. Uh, now the next goal is 3,000, right? So now let's keep pushing. Let's keep going, um, you know, and hit this 5K, 10K, 20, 100,000 subscribers, man. I want to continue to grow this channel. Uh, so every one of you that have uh, already started, you know, subscribed, this early on you guys are the early adopters you guys are my day ones so i appreciate you guys alrighty guys i will see you guys tomorrow on the next video peace and love